Welcome to Canadian Quarters Review. I'm Mark. Today on CQR, we're in one of my favorite places, Vernon Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada. And we're checking out today something extremely cool, a 2023 Yamaha Wolverine X2 Special Edition. This is another one that might go on the top picks list. Stick around, we'll find out. So this guy is going to be an 847cc liquid cooled dual overhead cam 8 valve parallel twin cylinder engine. It's going to have an 82 by 80 millimeter bore and stroke, a 10 and a half to 1 compression. It is a dual McCuny 36 millimeter throttle body fuel injected. TCI ignition with electric start. For the transmission, of course, you're going to have the typical awesome Yamaha trainee with the uh, Yamaha Ultramatic V-Belt CVT system with the on-command all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive limited slip and four-wheel drive diff lock. If you know anything about Yamahas, they just work. <laughs> Take care of them the way you should. Change your oil, make sure your air, fil air filter is clean and give it a good soak down after every ride to get all the crud off of it and you got something that lasts you a very long time and of course it is shaft driven for your final drive so it'll have an independent double wishbone anti-sway bar suspension in the front it's going to have 221 millimeters or eight inches of wheel travel it's pretty sweet Another independent double wishbone suspension with an anti-sway bar in the rear, 236 millimeters or 9.3 inches of wheel travel. When it comes to braking power, you're going to have a dual 207 millimeter discs in the front with twin piston hydraulic calipers. In the rear, same size disc, 207 millimeters, and again with twin piston hydraulic caliper calipers in the rear. And you'll have a 200 millimeter parking brake in this system as well. So the tires on this guy are going to be a 27 by 9 by 12 GBC Dirt Commander. And the rear are going to be a 27 by 11 by 12 Dirt Commander as well. So that's the beautiful thing about uh, special edition models. You're just going to get a little bit more for your money. Definitely recommend spending the extra two or three thousand dollars that it might be because this one will come with a winch. It's definitely got a nicer paint job. It'll have better tires and rims. Sometimes on some units, they'll even have a better suspension. And this one will also come with a roof. So you're getting quite a bit of bang for your buck. So I do stand corrected. The, the suspension on this guy has actually better shocks than the average would as far as the Wolverines are concerned. You got uh, piggyback shocks in the front and I believe in the rear as well. So your wheelbase is going to be 2100 millimeters or 82 inches. Your ground clearance is 280 millimeters or 11 inches. You're going to have a 35 liter or 7 gallon uh, fuel capacity. The vehicle itself is going to weigh 719 kilograms or 1586 pounds. You're going to have a 272 kilogram or 600 pound payload capacity for the bed and a 907 kilogram or 2,000 pound towing capacity with this unit too. It's gonna have a, if, a one year warranty if it's private use and a six months warranty if it's commercial use. And the colors you see here as far as a special edition are concerned are the only ones it comes in. Another fantastic ride from Yamaha. I just love their product, can't say enough about them. They just seem to last forever. And I know my quad, you know, it's already 10 years old, but it just goes anywhere I point it. It's just an amazing machine. And I haven't had to do much. Replace a wheel bearing, re replace a ball joint, and that was pretty much it. Great interior, lots of room. It's an interesting color for the seats. It's nice, I like it. I just think it's gonna get dirty pretty quick. But still, I like the color scheme. And you've got your uh, and you've got your glove box here too. 
Again, they're fully automatic, so if you can drive a car, you can drive one of these babies. We'll have the rear view mirror as well. Definitely nice that it comes with the roof and a solid plastic one at that. It does have a tilt bed, but as you see, I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm not going to tilt it today. But a decent sized bed with a decent carrying capacity. You can definitely get yourself a load of wood or do whatever. And if I remember right, this is the model that actually has built-in reverse lights in it too. Finally, they started to do that. You're going to have a 2-inch receiver on the rear. Always a bonus to do it that way. And nice light tailgate. You will have tie-downs in the box, one in every corner. It's a great idea. I like the half doors that it comes with in comparison to the Viking with those crappy doors. It's got those tiny things that really don't look like they do much of anything. But these are great doors. I would go for these in a heartbeat. Plenty of leg room. Got a couple of switches there. So you're going to have a headlight switch on the bottom and your four wheel drive switch on the top. There's your electric power steering sticker. That's important. In your typical Yamaha display, usually it's well placed and, and giving all the information you need. Let's take a peek at what's underneath the hood. Oh, excellent. So you got your ECM there. All your relays are there. That's good. And there's the governor switch. Very cool. You can access your RAD. That would, of course, would be your air box and your battery. And of course, a cute little tool pouch. Nicely done, Yamaha. Well, guys, this would be yet another one for a Canadian Quarters review. As always, appreciate each and every one of you. It means a lot to me that you've checked out this video and you've been on the channel. If you are a subscribed viewer, thank you so much for clicking that button because it really does help. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so before you leave. It really makes a difference in being able to get this content out to you easier. It, it really makes a difference. And pressing the like button too, it changes the algorithms and just gets more people my way. And the more people I have, the more I can grow and expand and the more info I can get to you. So thank you guys. So appreciate everything. Come on down to Vernon Motorsports and check out this unit. It's quite a blast. I can just imagine what this will be like on the trail and uh, talk to Dale or talk to Ryan, talk to Yvonne, anybody here. They're all fantastic people and they would love to help you out and tell them I sent you. But with that guys, I'm out of here and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.